Hello, everybody. Welcome back into the atrium. It's good to see your faces. I enjoy having you here. Let me, um... Shout out Opie real quick. She's a cutie. And super supportive space friend, so we gotta support her too. Frog clip! Yes! I forgot you guys couldn't hear that music. Opie has four clips and they're all super adorable, except for the one where you fall in lava and I feel sad for you. That one's not adorable. But we're going to move over to the music setup. Let me get my big head out of the way. That's a little better. So uh, I already started working on this song a little bit, um, and uh, I think I've got most of the sounds I like. It just needs some mixing and then arranging, but uh, I'll play for you the patterns that I have. So I've got two drum sets. The song starts out with this one. And then we have a more complex version. These are our chords. This is our bass line. This is our main melody. It'd help if it would start at the beginning. We have an accompanying melody here to match it. Got to work, but wanted to say good morning, Ola. Good morning, Reko. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I'll give you a shout out for the people who watch in the future or the people watching now, but I hope you have a good time at work. Uh, so this is the accompanying melody. Thanks for, the, thanks for the shout out again, of course, anytime. I like shouting out my friends here. Um, then I've got this kind of sound effect that'll play during certain parts. It's not going to be all over, but I liked it, so it's going in there somewhere. Just got some nice spacey sounds. Helps give it some texture in the ear holes. And then we've got um, the second melody accompaniment. And then a, a drone, just to kind of round out. I've got a lot of high notes in this, so I needed to bring in something low to kind of help balance it out.
So those are our notes. Let me shout out our friend Rico before I forget, because I'm gally brain sometimes. Rico. Gecko. Here we go. Rico makes art without worrying about tangent lines challenge. Impossible. Not impossible. I can do it. Can you though, Rico? I doubt it. <laughs> Rico's really great at line art. Um and he takes a lot of care whenever he does it. So uh, it's always nice to watch him. So if you like art and uh, generally chill vibe, he's a good place to stop by. Uh, now I'm going to play for you just all the sounds together. So you could kind of get what it sounds like and then we'll move into arranging them. That's what we've got so far. Let me go ahead and color this. I think it was it. No, it was one more. Beautiful. There we go. I like to keep things nice and organized on the bigger projects because it helps keep me nice and organized on the bigger projects. Okay. So I feel notice. Everything's on threes in this song. I wanted to do a three-fourth um, measure song instead of a four-four like normal. I just thought it would be interesting to do. So I'm just going to play around with the placement of some of these. I also need to make sure these get named. I'm going to go ahead. It sounds a little muddy right now, but it's because we need to do some mixing. So we're going to do that. We're going to pull up our. Uh, where is it at? Oh, I can't wave candy. There it is. Going to pull up a wave candy. We're going to go over to the meter setting. That's weird. Here we go. Here's our meter. It was on my other screen for a second. So we're going to move it here. So we can see the different waves. And uh, we're going to just kind of figure out which range we want the sounds to be in, which ones we want to be higher and lower than the others. We could probably turn down the drum set a little. Thing about there would be fine. Later on, we'll create a separate mixing track where we can duck out the rest of the audio so that the drums are a little crunchier. So we'll just get those all assigned to one track. And then we'll see about our chord. And I like that. I like the chord around the eight. Now we don't want the bass to be too much higher. So I'm going to lower it a bit. And 
And we think that might be a good range for it. Let's turn down this melody. Kind of way up there. Okay, I think that one's better. I think we'll turn this one down a bit. This one we're going to turn down quite significantly. It's just supposed to be in the background. Provide some just sound effects back there. I'm going to turn this down a bit. Around eight will be good. I want the drone to be kind of below the eight somewhere. So maybe a little more. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. Let me just go ahead and hide that. And now we'll go back to our song and see how it balanced out. I am going to turn up some of these lower notes a little more. So we'll turn up the bass a little more. And then the drone a little more. So I notice there's a little dissonance in the drone. I'm gonna come over here and it's in these G notes so I'm gonna move them to try and mitigate that sound. And I think that's good for that. Now I just got to remember how to do ducking properly and I'm not quite sure how to do that without my tutorials. We're going to get our bassy sounds here. We're going to assign them to a track. Let's see. I remember there's a way. Not 100% professional yet. I'm sorry, guys. I'll figure it out, I promise. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Here we go. This is it. Slide chain to this track. There we go. And then we go to this one. 
I'm going to keep things organized. I will say drum set here. And it was khaki. And then here. We'll change it to faces. And uh, I'll just choose the first base color. That way we can keep it nice and organized. Let's come over here. And now I need to find the compressor. But not that one. There's a better one. It's a limiter, I think. Yeah, it's limiter. Then go over to compress. And then let me get a section here selected. I'm going to shut off the other sounds. And then I'm going to select a bit to loop. It'd probably be best to start here then. So we'll loop this set so we can find it. And then we're just going to mess with it until we find what we like. I need to make sure this is slide chain properly selected. I may go change that drone sound. I'm not vibing with it too hard. Let's find a new drone. Okay, so it's here. Let me see. Soundtrack was pretty okay. Let's try this out. Yeah, it's still not proper. Let's see. Huge spaceship. That's more like a sound effects drone. Let's see. Thank you. 
I think we'll have a little bit of gating on it. Give it some rhythm. Okay, let's see what it sounds like with everything else. Okay, yeah, I like that. Now I'm just gonna do some arranging. Let's see, it needs to be a six bars at least. We'll create a second melody set for like a chorus session. But I think first I wanna have a focus on some of the higher sounds. And then we'll have the chorus start here. And then we'll have our new melody there, but we can get the throne in. We'll get the chord back in. Something's, something's a foot here, something's a miss. One of these threes is a four. I can sense it in my gill. Gilly bones, my non-existent skeleton. Okay, let's see. Drone. You've got some explaining to do. Bloop, bloop. Okay, and then we'll move these. Actually, that's uh, that's probably why it was so off in my head. I was like, why is this off? Okay, let's, I'm gonna, um, let's put those back. Nope, not what I wanted. Gonna move these to this bar. Get that resolved a little better there. 
now that that's happened, I gotta come over here. I have these on fives, I think. Is that what's wrong? Is it that I can't count? Is it that I'm bad at logic? I think that's what's wrong. I have to go in and um, correct some things. Yeah, they're on fives because I can't count. I can't read the, the bars correctly. OK, that's fine. It just means we get to add an extra bar into each of these. I guess this is the bottom row on this one. And then I'll move these to the last one, too. Let me... Uh, I moved these to the wrong place. Hold on. There we go. I need to change this one. Or maybe I'll move uh, the set down. want that note to be. D doesn't sound right. But F doesn't sound right either. And C kind of sounds too flat. Because of the three C's here. So maybe let's move this one down. That's a little better. Let's move this one. Okay. Space equipment's on threes, so we don't have to worry about that. Or I thought it was on threes. I guess it's not. Everything I assumed is wrong. Okay, let's go fix space equipment. That's good news, because I was having problems. Here it is. With the way this sounded. But that should get it to the right space. Get it? Space. Space equipment. Space. Do you, do you understand my jokes? Do you get it? Huh? Yeah. How bad is this? Okay. Uh, just as bad as I am at counting. Whoop. Move this over here.
Okay. Now the main melody. Move this over. We'll start with our long notes first. Okay, got our four long ones. Let's get our normal ones in here. And then there's one at the end here. And we got a couple of slide notes. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that wasn't going to be dissonant. Then we'll get our few notes here. Okay, let me go make sure that Melody 1 lines up with this. Yeah, that should be good. Good, good, good. Bass. I need to wait until I've got the chord figured out, so we'll leave it like this for now. Then we'll go to the chord. Move these over one bar. Okay, and then we'll get a chord in. This one's a little dissonant. Oh, that's why E. Okay, then I'm gonna just kind of copy this. We're going to go to base, do a paste, move it into place here. I don't remember where those go, but now you get to go back here. G and F. Okay, so that's appropriate. Okay, now we got to... Drums are fine. They're on one bar each. But now we need to pull back all of these a little bit. So that they're not overlapping. Go ahead and come here and just move those down. Here we go. 
And then when, same thing for these. And the melodies, just these two. Thank you. And then these need to get lined up in the appropriate spaces. Move those over, get another melody bar. Okay, and then, whoops. Move these back into place. I did something somewhere. Yeah, here. Okay. Here's where that focus is supposed to be. So let's get rid of these. We'll move this down here. And then we can copy paste these over. Apparently I didn't grab that one section there, so we're just gonna copy paste them, slide them into place. We get rid of that set there. Yep, okay. Um, go and then it was just these three and then we went back into the complex and that's where our chorus is going to start so we'll get back in these objects And then we're going to redo the melody. I think I'm going to move this one up just so that all the melodies are together. Uh, move up. And since I'm here, I'll go ahead and nest them under. Uh, do, 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 do. Group with above. Group with above. There we go. So now that we've got some things fixed, let's see what we're what we're working with.
Okay. Get those in, and then let's make a, a chorus melody. I'm gonna clone this one. We'll move it underneath everything here. I'm gonna rename it Chorus Melody. I cannot spell. Okay, and then let's uh, edit this around so it's its own unique thing. So I think I'm going to do that for each one of these. Okay, and then I need this one to be along. Nope, not the one I wanted. I'm just going to test to see what happens if I move these up an octave. Yeah, I like that. Let's um, loop around these a little bit. And then this one will move up an octave again. I need to not move up that guy there. So we'll move these and then this. And then this guy here. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, got those nice and copied over. Make this a double note. I think I'll move it down.
Okay, and then we'll just get this changed up. on this one we'll move up the octave and then this little guy here Yeah, I like that. I think that'll be our our chorus melody. Pop it down right there. And now we just need to make the accompaniments match. So we'll get a clone of this. We'll rename it. the uh chorus melody accompaniment and then do the same with this one there we go And I'm going to cut this real quick. And then in our melody layer, we're going to edit it. That way we can see things a little better. Okay, and then we'll just kind of copy that pattern throughout the song.
just a couple more to go. I think this is fine actually. So now we'll cut it and put it back into its own layer. Like so. And then we'll do the same thing for this one. I think the base notes we can leave the same and then we'll just edit the um, top notes here. Okay, and I think that goes for there. And then let's hear what the chorus sounds like together. So I definitely need to change that chorus to not be as busy as I've made it. Part of the issue too is I forgot to move this back to the appropriate channel, which will mess with the sound levels. But I definitely need to come here and get rid of some of these. Maybe I'll do... Let's see what a slide sounds like. Oh, 
Whoops. Nope. We'll do a slide note. I'm gonna select this and we're gonna repeat it till I get the levels where I like them. I'm going to get rid of some of these. The ones that are right after the slide note, particularly. We'll do, let's repeat it a second time. And then we will uh, think, copy this. Move those here. And then I think I'll have this one again. Move these over. I think I'll give it two bars there of rest. And then we'll go straight into the chorus. And then I think what we'll do is we'll have a 
a set of simple drums here. Okay, and then we'll do the chorus melody high notes. And then we'll do a couple bars of drum and then it'll loop back around to the start of the song. Let's hear how everything sounds so far. Hey Top, welcome in. I'll give you a nice shout out here in a second. This sounds delightful, thank you. It's going to be our new starting soon uh, song. I'm just testing it for any dissonance or anything like that. Your day has been going great. It's good to see you around here. We'll definitely add some risers in these spaces so it's not just a, a cold start. I think what I need to do 
is we'll do one solo chorus melody here. Uh, I need to get my paintbrush tool. Here we go. Here we go. That way when it loops back around, it's a little more seamless. definitely helped. So now when the song loops it sounds a little more coherent. Let's give our friend Cup a shout out. Cup is a cat, our favorite puppet tuber. Is he? Where's Cup? Right. There he is! Get it together. <laughs> it's their own fault. They did this to themselves. I gotta clean up those clips? Yeah, that wasn't one <laughs> you thought we'd get past, huh? Yeah, uh, the Twitch guru does pull some of the strangest clips sometimes. That was when I had the Rona. Ooh, I'm glad you recovered. It's uh, good to have you around. That that had to suck, though. I couldn't imagine. Uh, Ham had uh, the Rona once, too, and I can't imagine streaming in that kind of state. It, it was a difficult time. But yeah, welcome in. Uh, let's see. I need to get some risers in these spaces where there's silence for a little bit so that when it, the sound continues, it's not such a harsh introduction. So I need to decide what instrument's going to have our riser or if we're going to do a separate riser sound. You know, there's like a spaceship, like a do 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 kind of sound somewhere. I wonder if I can find that. That would be a pretty neat riser. But the thing is, I'm going to have to find it first. So let me see. Uh, spaceship riser. We'll call this layer. I'll make it blue. I was quarantined and had nothing better to do than streaming. Yeah, that makes sense. When you're trapped, it's good to get out, even if that out is digital. Let's see, I gotta find the spaceship noise, but I don't remember what it's called. Let me get a simple note down so I can play this and find it. I need to favorite it because it is a really good sound. Let's see, is there a... There is a sound effects. Maybe I'll be able to find it. I don't think it's antenna. Yeah, nope, definitely not that one. Maybe ascending? Yes! Favorite. Okay. We find the octave that best works with it. Nice, that one has like a built in riser too. That white noise in the background that's slowly ascending. So let's start it like here. Let's 
turn it down. Last time I played with FL Studio, I spent half an hour flicking through vocal samples before quitting and kept imitating the samples while I made dinner. Not, not a horrible time. I don't usually work with vocals. So, uh... Oh yeah, the yeah! Yeah! Oh yeah, I know exactly which ones those are. Let's see. Um... I gotta... Get these down. That's not the envelope. It's in packs, I think. I've been all over the place on this project, if you can't tell. Vocals. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we're back in. Let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna relapse. And we push it. <laughs> let's see. I'm trying to remember. It's a, a lot of these. Infectious. Or just okay. <laughs> Some of them are a lot of nonsense, but that's okay. That's right. That's right. Spin it again. You know, it reminds me of whatever they're chopped up like this. It reminds me of those game selection, the character menu selection when you select one and they make a little vocal stinger. That kind of is what it reminds me of. You click on the character and he's like, that's right. But, uh... Join us, Cup. Join us in the FL Studio world again. Join us! <laughs> what kind of uh, songs do you like to make? I know Maestro enjoys, like, chiptune. I have a lot of like atmospheric um, lo-fi stuff or bassy stuff. I think it'd be interesting to hear a cup song. Yeah, that's a nice riser. I made my intro music, really? It's great. You should make more music. You're really good at it. Okay, maybe I want to put the spaceship noise in some other places. Because it's too good not to use. there because it kind of goes nowhere but maybe here that would i think those three places are probably it so let's oh, let me see what this would sound like Galobian type music, yes. So I think this is pretty much it. Let me let me do a quick care routine. Let's uh let's do a save. Gonna hydrate.
because it's been the first time I'll stream. And we're going to do a stretch. Feel free to stretch with us. There we go. It was a trick. <laughs> yes, my sneaky tricks. <clears throat> tricks are for kids. Commercialism has ruined my brain hole. I have a whole bunch of useless phrases in my head now because of commercials. Let's do one last listen through. Okay, I think it sounded good. I didn't realize how long I had made this song. It's almost the full five minutes. sounded good. Let me make sure the last transition is going to work out. I think that's it for this one. Let me hide this. We still got some time. So let's start on our BRB uh, song next. So let me. I'm going to hide this so you can't see my files. Haha. <laughs> okay. Save this one more time. And then I'm going to open. One of my sweet homo boom songs. 
can't remember. I think it's Sisterhood. I'll open it up and see. Man, this is an old project. I'm going to see all kinds of stuff I used to do wrong all the time. All right, let me just uh, see if this is the song at all. Yep, this is it. Okay. So, we'll do a, an unhide real quick. The BRB has um, a short clip of the Song Sisters um, during the BRB animations that I'm working on right now. So I think I'm going to make it sound similar to the um, Sisterhood song from the Sweet Home of Boone album. So uh, I'll play it and you guys can kind of get an idea. So you guys get the point. I want to reuse all of these instruments. So let me do another hide. I'm going to do a file save as. What should I name this? Okay, we'll see about that. What up? Alrighty, I'm gonna get rid of this envelope because we're gonna want it to loop. I'm gonna get rid of the wind. Sounds. We'll get rid of the bamboo sounds, and I just remembered that I have to animate the the corals. I forgot all about the corals on the 
on the uh, sisters and the animation. I'm going to have to go back and add that. Uh, delete. Delete. This is before I started organizing things, as you can see. We'll keep the sister hums and stuff. Let me yeah, select all. Move everything down. We'll have the chirps and then we'll start the melody earlier on. So let me let me deselect things. Let me go in here and try to do some organizing. Uh Look at the cord and khaki. Uh, look at sound effects. Let's do sound effects in all of. Okay. Chord bass. We'll do dark khaki. I'll move that up. Drums. Early wood. Melody. In red. This was one of my favorite songs from Sweet Home of Boone. I enjoyed it a lot. Marimba. Dune Violet. Cube. Light Magenta. Nylon. We'll do it in the more purple light magenta. And ace. Gonna be purple. There we go. And let's get these auto named. We'll go back and correct those names here in a minute. These can just be drums. Need to change the icon. Call that one Melody. Then I'm going to change the icons down here. Nylon and Ace are guitars. Going to change the chord. The bass. The marimba. Cube. 
I really don't. There we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna group this with above. Same with the chord base. Okay. Now I need to organize all these. I'm definitely going to change the chord instrument. I want to change it so we can be closer to the starting song. So I'll change up the chord instrument. Um, I don't, I don't remember what I used in the last song. Hold up. Boop. Okay, it was classically digital. Okay, let's see. So it's nice, but it's very basic. So I'm going to add to it. Put these ones at the lower octave. Okie dokie. Let me change color. Okay, the base. Is there like a history 
recent. We're getting rid of this riser. Gonna go through. Gonna delete these things we're not using. So the bamboo chimes, the wind, the riser. What was this one? That one was another riser we had. Okay, so those are nice and cleared out. Save. Uh, let's take a moment. I need to just come over here and basically screenshot the other one. But I don't have to keep flipping back and forth. Organic chip. I also need to delete this. Yep. That's better. Let me get this colored. So we can match. Uh, where is the herb? Here it is. We'll change the color of that to the olive. If that's where the sister chirp sound effects come from. And the drums are going to need probably the biggest rework. Uh, so let's see. We have a lead in. Yeah, I don't want that to be it. So let's change that. Go to Drumful Treasure. It'd probably be better as a kick of some kind. Let's see where Tom's gets us. Okay, not Tom. Kick. It's a little too acoustic. Like that better. So 26. Whoops. Really? 
26. That could be our lead in. I'm going to get rid of the 808 here. I'm going to add a new flex layer. And I think. Let me do a search all tags sequence. Yeah, here we go. That one may be a little too active. Gonna get rid of these. I like that. Okay. I still want the melody to be the sitar. And I think we can keep these instruments the same. So let's go ahead and get uh, the stuff colored. So these ones are going to be Sienna. It doesn't look right. Early wood. That's right. Okay, Melody's the sitar. And then Marimba. Uh, cube. Nylon and Ace. Okay, we're a little more organized. What's going on? We'll delete you. You're the only one someone had a track to, so we'll unassign tracks for everything. But do save. We've got a few minutes. Let me turn off these sounds and we'll see what we're working with so far. When I get the new melody, I'll put it in here like we did with the other one. I'm definitely going to change the chirp setup. It's 
So the hums are fine. It's the chirps. They're just out of sync. Let me go try to fix that real quick. The chirps need to be at like the end of the melody. I may get rid of them. They served a narrative purpose in the Sweet Home of Boone album, but if they're going to be too much of a hassle, I might just get rid of them. Let me whip. Oh, I need to undo that, I think. Nope. Okay. Oops, uh, what I wanted. Yeah, I don't think the high chirps serve a purpose in this one, so let's move this one up. But first I gotta ungroup. And then we'll just uh, delete this top one. And then we'll keep the hums. That's sounding good. And that's all the time we have, so I need to save there. Let me scoot over a little more. There we go. Okay, so that's all the time we have for today. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, just playing some nice relaxing games with Cozy Grove. And uh, we'll see what else we get to do after that, whenever we get there. But let's find a friend to raid. You know, since we talked to Cup, let's go raid Edrum. He's uh right now playing Hollow Knight. So we're gonna go raid him. Real quick, I gotta do gotta do the, the plugs. You know how it is. All that good stuff. If you wanna join a raid, you can copy this raid message here. When we go over to show our support. And let's uh, just all around have a great time. 
So thank you for today. And until next time, have fun, space friends!